I got the idea for this was um, I was in Denver, uh, Colorado a few years ago and I was walking through their downtown and they had a few pianos out and I stopped and I smiled and I just said this is this is great, this is wonderful and it reminded me of a story when I was young back in the 70s, uh, my dad uh, got this piano from a church and he was moving it from the church to his house and so he loaded it on, onto the trailer and his buddy was driving the car and the trailer in the back and my dad sat in the trailer and started playing the piano. So we went from this one village to a second village and my dad just playing away and playing the piano and people were stopping and looking at this, at this guy playing the piano. So it just made me smile, it reminded me of that story. Uh, you know, I've come by here at midnight someone's in here playing. This, this, this one's probably the one that gets played the most because it's right in St. George's Square. I asked Guelph Transit, I said, you've got a, a transit shelter that buses don't stop at anymore. Would, you, would it be okay with you if I put a piano inside your transit shelter? And they said yes. Wow, how cool is that? So how do you get to the River Run Center? Practice, 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 that's what they say. Well, my dad came and played this piano and was delighted to play the River Run Center. He, he's been practicing and practicing. So here we are, of course the Jazz Festival was on a couple of weeks ago, so there was lots of uh, shows happening inside, people milling about, people playing the piano. It was just a perfect fit having it here at the River Run Center. One outstanding incident that happened uh, last week was uh, Sunday morning. I get this call from a young fellow. I guess he's at the school, and he's uh, he said that he was in one of the local uh, restaurants, bars, and had a couple too many drinks and came out. And he saw the piano. It was locked up for the night, and he was he really wanted to play the piano. So this this case here was uh, was closed down, and I guess he just lifted it up and he broke off the, the edge and he snapped the lock here. And so you're sitting here playing when Guelph Police Service is blocked out. You really wanted to play the piano. <laughs> I think one of the funniest stories was I there was a kid walking down the street. He had lots of tattoos on his arms, and he had some hoops, and he had a I heart haters on his shirt. So it was I with a heart and haters, right? And he's got a skateboard, and he's kind of doing the slouchy walk. And he, he stops, and he sees sees the piano, and he goes, oh. And he sits down, and he starts playing Mozart. He drops his skateboard here, and he's playing Mozart. And this older woman comes by and she, and she stops and the two of us are watching this and, and she turns to me and says, I, I don't even know how to play the piano, but this just makes me smile. So when I put my search out, my call out for pianos, I got a call from someone at St. James Presbyterian Church and they said, well we have this beautiful bell piano. Bell, of course, was made in Guelph. You've heard of the 100 mile dial? Well, we got a 100 mile piano. Actually, it's probably closer to a one mile. The church was concerned what we were going to be doing with the piano. And we said, well, we're going to put it outside. We want the public to come and play it and have some fun with it. And they were still a little uncertain. I said, well, we have an ideal location for your piano. We're going to put it at the public library. Turned out the person I was talking to was a great patron of the public library and they were and they instantly fell in line and said this is great. This is exactly what how we want to see our piano used in the future. So we were happy to 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 see that happen. So here we are at 
the original piano that we for the Happy Making project. When we brought the piano down, I put it out front and I put a big jar of magic markers. And so, as you can see, it's been decorated with all sorts of things here. Music, it's the culture, it's, it's what makes people smile, it makes people feel good about themselves, feel good about their community. It's a very, just a small, simple little piece that we've done here, but I think we've brought a lot of smiles to people's faces and, uh, and in my mind that's, that's what this whole project's been about. Of course, when we put the piano outside, it was a little rocky in the sidewalk, so we needed a bit of a shim. So, of course, being a video store guy, what better use for old videotape, a Rocky Five videotape, is for a shim underneath the piano. Get lots of comments on that one.